real, there's a real sort of tension here, which is that in a leaderless, in a leaderless movement, you can't dictate who is the forefront, who is the spokesperson. Right. It has to basically happen organically. But in an organic movement, you may end up with, you know, that leaderless movement may end up being, you know, an anarchist who's going to be talking about overthrowing the entire international global system. Now, or you have a Ron Paul guy who's talking about, you know, who's, you know, quoting the elders of Zion in his in his uh, diatribe against capitalism. Now, these people, in my personal view, I think have no real connection to reality. But you can't keep them out, and you can't prevent them from coming, and there's no leader. There are people here who are the organizers from the beginning, who are very intelligent, and you, you can look around and find them. They're in the general area. They actually, uh, they're basically working nonstop to get the message out and, and communicate with other, with other centers on the, on the country. But they don't want to say, we are the leaders of the movement. We are the spokesman for the world. So there's a, there is a causation, and there is a need. I mean, I think people often think that leaders will emerge, and I think that hopefully a good leader emerges in some way. But it, there's a contradiction inherently, there's an attention between a leaderless movement and the need to have sort of a valid spokesman, like you're saying, and not somebody who's going to be so far on the fringe that's going to be treated with disdain by the rest of the country. But do you think that, there, that it weak? I mean, and I've only been here for an hour tonight. Mm -hmm. And like I told you, I came up here just to see what it was. But do you think that any of this weakens? I don't think that it should weaken it. I think that it, it may weaken it if you already are skeptical of the viewpoint. But it shouldn't weaken it. I mean, I think if you have an open flat platform and you have some people are saying crazy things, you shouldn't discredit the entire platform. AOL, for example, came out, let's say, what was in the 90s. Now, AOL chat rooms, pretty key thing of AOL, is largely pornographic. But you wouldn't say that the entire AOL is, should be thrown out because we have this very large and, and substantial pornographic element to it, which I think nobody thinks should be a, like a mainstay of, of, a, of the American household. But to say, but the thing is, once you open it, once you have open source technology and open source communities, you have to say it. there's going to be some strangeness, there's going to be some weirdness, there's going to be some crazy. But do you 